Good morning, welcome to a morning review on Wednesday 19th of November. This is Kim Watson speaking for Easy Trader. Okay, looking at the pound dollar first, and actually let's come out and look at the uh, upper time frames. And as you can see from a daily perspective, we, we well, this morning we've already come through the Asian session, we've already come down and almost put a double bottom in there, not quite. So there is still the opportunity or the possibility of coming down further. In the short term, we, we have got uh, the possibility uh, of the uh, daily pivot being hit at 156.46. So if, if, um, if the cable can uh, get through all its resistance levels, got a few moving averages before it gets there. That said, the 50 MA has already been tested, so should not uh, create too much resistance, uh, providing we can get up there. That said, it is still sloping down. Um, and quite often, if it's uh, when, when you're in a downtrend and it's sloping down so strong, uh, you you often uh, find it, it it provides further resistance. But anyway, the the, the potential or possibilities of getting down uh, back up there uh, are reasonably good. Um, so uh, that's where we are with cable at the moment. We do have uh, the minutes coming out this morning uh, from the previous. Uh, Bank of England uh, MPC meeting so at 9.30 we could see quite a bit of volatility around that and uh, uh, that may set the tone for the rest of the day um, ok it's cable not much else to say there at the moment um, looking at the euro dollar uh, once again well actually yesterday we made a, a reasonable uh, update there um, at the moment giving some of that back um, but we, we're still within this sort of uh, channel that I've drawn on here. We, we seem to have a, a day up and a day down uh, lately, pretty much. Um, at the moment, it's uh, sort of rolling over, looking a tad weak, but uh, we have got the daily period just below us, so that's, uh, there's a possibility we could see that uh, that touch. If we start sort of seeing a break of the, the uh, trend line that I've drawn on here, well then it, be, it becomes a much more short candidate and we could be rolling over looking towards um, maybe yesterday's lows and the day before lows. Um, likewise, I mean we're in this sort of uh, 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 position here as well where we've got the upper upper resistance level or break of that, I'd be looking for longs pushing up towards the monthly pivot. So. Um, that's where we're sitting at the moment. It's uh, actually in a, it's a, it's a short term trend line that sits across there, which uh, may see me looking more towards the uh, short side of things. Although, as I say, the daily pivot is pretty close, and that may just provide uh, some support the way it's been moving of late. So, it does break that level. Uh, it's a very small target, really, there. Okay, um, news wise for Euro, well, there is not much this morning, but. Um, uh, we uh, for both euro and cable later on this uh, this evening it's uh, nine uh, nineteen hundred hours seven o'clock we've got the FOMC minute so again we could see some volatility in both of those around the uh, seven o'clock time this evening UK time okay um, not much else to say at the moment so have a great day I'll speak to you tomorrow bye for now.